What's going on? How to start a retail vintage store? There are three things you can do. Number one, you gotta focus on having real vintage. Vintage predates to 20 years from today to prior. I mean, now it's debatable. Some people say 30 years is really considered vintage. Now, the second thing to consider with this is that the clothes that you pick out, you gotta look at the type of fabrics that you are looking for within vintage. Oftentimes you would see clothing with a lot of acrylic or nylon or polyester. So you have to eliminate this idea of synthetic fabrics or man-made fabrics because they're not healthy for the skin. You really wanna go for fabrics that are cotton, cashmere, wool, linen, any of those types of fabrics would be really good. People like them and they feel good on the skin. The third thing to consider is that you really wanna focus on style. You know, every in every era, there's a certain style that are really nice. Now, that's unique to you. You know, me and my brother, we like certain Americana styles. We like certain looks and certain cuts, you know, but that's what we like, you know, but everybody else likes different types of styles. You know, you have some vendors that sell on the street that look for luxury goods, that look for luxury goods that have a certain cut or a certain silhouette, or you have certain styles that are semi-casual, you have the Y2K style, you have the 90s style, you got hip hop style, you got gothic style, you got, you know, all different types of styles. So you have to identify your style and stay true to that style. And another thing to consider is that when picking out your style, focus on your target market, right? Focus on the people that will buy your stuff. Now, you don't want to focus on a style that no one really wants. So oftentimes we go for styles that aren't too ancient, that are kind of modern, that people will want today. Some vintage stuff just don't look good at all, regardless if it's vintage or not. So we wanna focus on vintage that looks cool today. Something that you and I will wear. I mean, if I wear, if I found a vintage shirt that's a button up, I'm like, can I wear this today? That's the question I ask myself. If I don't feel right wearing it today, then most likely I won't pick it up. So that's another key component. Another thing to do is to focus on, just make sure that you have a steady supply of inventory coming in. Now, there are many ways to find inventory. You can buy on eBay, Etsy, you can buy, you can look for bins or bales, you can source different stores that offer discounted vintage. Because you don't wanna buy vintage that is too expensive. You need to find places that are inexpensive vintage that you can sell for a profit. So you're looking for discounts. The Goodwill and the Red Cross stores have clothing in there that you can find discounted vintage from. Now, do you have to search it from each piece and figure out where there is value at? I mean, then that's what you got to do. I mean, picking vintage clothing and trying to understand the value of it, it's like real estate. It's like when you go out there looking for a house and you're looking for a discounted deal. Similar to buying a foreclosure, you, you buy it, you renovate it, and then you sell it. Similar to clothing. You find, you're trying to find discounted clothing that you can wash, take the stains out, and then sell it for a higher price. Now, another thing is where are you going to sell it at, right? You can sell it on eBay. eBay is a really good platform to sell vintage clothing. Now, they have other, other sites too, like Whatnot or Poshmark or even Etsy. These are websites that you can sell your vintage clothing on. So it's good to see how much these items are selling for that you picked up. So if you found a cashmere, Brooks Brothers, predates to like early 2000s, you can figure that out by looking at the tag. Then you'll know that this is something that I can sell for, you know, 50 bucks and I'm buying it for $10, right? That's, that's, that's how to look for vintage. But this is how to do it. And on that note, take care. Till the next time.